What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another Rampa 2 Goodbye Despair video. <laughs> Holy cow, it's been a minute. So, uh, yeah. We're now on case four. The... Well, this is going to be interesting. Since, uh... Right, my report card. Sadly, I only have so many of these shards. Uh, just hoping to get some of these other stuff. But clock up. Increases max speed? No. Increases turning power? No. Extraordinary focus. Okay. Wait, hold on. Cannot be combined with menacing focus. What's menacing focus? I don't, I don't have menacing focus, so that's uh. Yeah, I don't have menacing focus, so I'm good. Okay, I honestly have no idea what else to pick, so. with a simple explanation of the class trial. It's stupid the fact that I give Nagato a gift and I don't get a shark, so that's kind of disappointing. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Obviously. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But like we all know. Pick the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone but the Blackened gets I killed. Everyone besides the Blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get wrapped up and ready to go. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Oh, dang! That's harsh. Well, I'm not the main ingredient, right? Knowing him, you might be. I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. Yeah, like, we know. I'm gonna be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. Woman, you don't even know what... You haven't even been trying to get... To be on point with the whole... Uh, murders. This is your first time actually focusing really hard on one. Definitely not tempted by curry, got it? Never mind. Akane. You seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Well, we only had bread and milk, so... Of course, they're all probably still somewhat hungry. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? Hmm. Not a bad idea. We can find any breaking points, since... There are things here that make sense. But the one thing that doesn't make sense... Is literally, who would have the balls to actually take on Nekumaru? Cause... Let's be frank... 
you're going to have to have really strong ones just to take him on. Because no one here was in the condition to fight. We weren't able to leave Strawberry House. Uh huh. So I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Yeah, and that person has to clear the final dead room to be able to go in and out of Strawberry and Grape House without the elevator. They almost. They also have to. No, the ultimate weapon, which I'm guessing involves the elevator and the rooms. Because if the two houses aren't side by side, something's up. And... The killer had to be able to get from Grape House to Strawberry House so because the controls on the Grape House were broken and they lock up Strawberry Hall from Grape Hall and destroy the button from the hallway to Strawberry Tower oh shoot no they, they lock up the Strawberry Door in Grape Tower and on and in Strawberry Hall, they broke the button to enter Strawberry Tower. Right? Ugh, that's confusing. But yeah. They also mess with the elevator. So free access. I discovered Nicomaro's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower for Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Yeah! Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Imbecile! I am not some woman with flexible legs! Huh, I think that's actually the right term of phrase this time. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. Simp. How would that even work? Everyone knows that if you don't make it to Monokuma Tai Chi at 7, there's punishment that will be involved. Can you not do the splits? I thought you were the ultimate gymnastic. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House and went to the tower together. And then... The three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. Yeah. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too. From Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't go anywhere because of that. It could be possible that if they tried to open Strawberry Hall, that it could ruin the whole thing. So that's why they did the button breaking thing. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Hmm. Forget these foreign intros. Let's talk about the killer. We can't talk about the killer because that's a dumb thing to do. We can't just assume one person after another until we actually just magically find the killer. No, we gotta analyze this from beginning to end. And find every important clue to find the killer. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. I mean, they're not wrong. You would definitely need to clear the final dead room. What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. 
so it must be one of you strawberry house dudes. I'm a dude! Hajime's a dude! What the fuck? One of you better hurry up and confess, or I'll break all of you in half! You're the coolest one here! Now, now. Enough with the lovers' quarrel. We need to think about this seriously. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. That is very true. Even at the beginning of the investigation, I was a bit stumped. Like, for one... How did they manage to beat Nekumaro? Because they would have to actually do, ma do harm to him. Obviously, the pillar is involved. And considering that the pillar actually needs to fall... Sorry, I hit the thing. Uh, considering that the pillar fell, and considering that the oil damage is on top of the pillar, meaning Nekumaru somehow got his head bashed in on the top. Because there's no other damage anywhere else. He could have crashed into the floor and did some damage, but that's really it. The incident notwithstanding... I also have many questions. Yeah. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. The weapon. Uh, well, the weapon is obvious, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I can tell you may be my second favorite of the whole group, but still. Uh, your attitude's a little... What? what the heck, you guys? A weapon! You can totally tell just by looking! Yeah, no, it's not the hammer. Ah, oh, great. The wire, pillar fragment, chain, new... Yeah. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! Hmm. The killer used that hammer... ...and beat the crap out of him! No. It was unexpected, I suppose that is possible. That's right! It was a surprise beating! The weapon is decided! Hmm. Huh. The hammer was... The hammer in the tower was the weapon. Like he said. It looks like the case, but... Uh... Okay, so... Okay, let me see the... Let me see the... Uh, things. The wire... Uh, no. I don't think that would be the case. The good night button? No, that was on the thing. Oil on the floor. Tipped over pillar. New looking hammer? It's not the hammer. I, I know that for sure. No chain, Akane's account, f pillar fragment. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. I guess we should figure out the weapon. First. Tip over pillar, oil on the floor. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. Pillar fragments. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer. No. The killer used that hammer. And beat the crap out of him. No. <sighs> Frick. Damn it. Okay, so it wasn't that. Okay, so I, I can get that out of the way. The tip over pillar. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer. Uh. The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him. If it was unexpected, I suppose that is possible. Hold on. Uh, handbook. Fast forward. Uh, silencer. Mouse. Uh, mouse. Slick bullets. Fire bullet. Concentrate. Okay. Hmm. Wire. 
That's right. It was a surprise beating. Pillar. Tips the over pillar. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hmm. Uh, the wire. No, it can't be that. It's not the good night button, because that would make sense. The tipped over pillar. Right? I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! If it was unexpected, I suppose that is possible. That's right! It was the weapon is decided! I guess we should figure out the weapon. The weapon was right there, this that killer. No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! No! Are you serious? But the pillar is literally bloody. If that is not even the case, what the heck? What is it, the wire? Oh, that would make sense. Why would it be the wire? Uh... Seriously, what is the answer? Um... Okay, let's see what we got. No. Ooh, actually, maybe it's the broken doorknob? Yeah. Because it's not the new looking hammer. That would be the dumbest thing to get involved. Oh! I argue that the broken hammer is the is still new. Oh. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! It has to be the, the new looking one, right? Hammer. Okay, okay, I was a bit dumb right there. Okay, that was my fault. That was on me. No, I can't accept that that hammer was the murderer. Okay. I was a bit... I was a bit off. Uh, it's been a while. Been like a week or two since I did a trial. Why can't you accept it? A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body, just like human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. Or dented. But that hammer was clean, so that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Yeah, but. The killer might have wiped off the oil later. Right. Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. You're pretty insightful, baby gangster. What the? Baby gangster? Me? Oh, damn! That's an insult more than I can hear. Just so y'all know, I, I thought... Maybe uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Freaking dumbass. Then what was the real weapon used to murder Nekomaru? Well, he obviously fell. That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? Oh. It doesn't have oil on it. It's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? Okay. Uh, the broken pillar. I see. Obviously. The only thing with oil on it is that 
broken pillar. Exactly. And that pillar is the weapon. Coach Nekomaru got clobbered with that pillar. Yeah, no. The only one that could probably wield that thing is Nekumaru as a robot. Or even Monokuma, but still, it wouldn't work. Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Gundam's right. Why? We tried to move it, right? Yeah, yeah. Barely budging, didn't I tell you? Yeah. That pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body! With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar. So he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean Nekomaru killed himself? Don't be stupid! He's the type to commit suicide! Then why bring this up? No one else can actually wield that thing as a weapon. Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all. Well, I guess you're right. What the heck? That does bother me a little. The word suicide. By the way... The fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a, a suicide. Huh? No, it shouldn't matter. There's no way Nick Marvel would commit suicide. But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Huh? For reals? Yes, for reals. Falling on it, that's probably the only thing I could think of. Let's see. So my gut was right after all. Alright, it's up to you, Sonia. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. And I shall give it my all. Okay. Sonia, here I go. What the fuck? Uh okay, I need to hear this out. Good night, button, oil on the floor, chain pillar fragment. Uh, let's use, let's see, it can't be the tipped over pillar. There's no need to lift that pillar. Why not? If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? It aims right for his head in bullseye. That wouldn't work. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! Uh... No, wait! I know what it is! It has to be... Uh, the fragments, right? Pillar was not lifted. Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Bam! No, that's wrong. Got it. Man, this trial gets a little. Now has to be technical. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. I, I see. That was entirely my bad. Now the pillar was used. We just need to think really hard on this. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already! There, there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that 
Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Hmm. You have to agree. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? Huh? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is, is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys seem as usual. Oh, damn. He sounds bored. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. Uh, kind of hypocritical, but whatever. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? I mean, kind of have to work together and be certain about things. Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito, what the hell happened to you? Mm-hmm. How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I can kind of agree with that. What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill! Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course, the ultimate weapon. <laughs> ultimate weapon? Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So... Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, Mother am the ultimate fuck. weapon. I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon! You done? No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon, since you wield your four dark damas of destruction. <sighs> I, I see. I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. Shut up, you simp. We got things to do, places to be, and a case to solve. The bullshit and say it clearly? What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Huh? The secret of the funhouse? You mean the thing involving the elevator. How instead of going left to right or up or down, it went 180 degrees. Yeah. Uh, let's see, it's on your left when you on your No, it's on your right, and then it comes to your left. So it's somewhere along the lines. Uh Yeah. You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Fuck you! Except for Hajime? If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway, we must first clarify the secret of the funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the funhouse. Yes, that would make sense. Strawberry House leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. Let's see... Rectangle... Flip it over... Stack it on top, so that both halls can actually be on top of one another. 
with the elevator facing the other way. Basically, uh, elevator on the upper half where the stairs are. Put that together, you get left and right in a 180 degree. I didn't notice it at first, but after editing and seeing this, well, I actually didn't really edit it, but I did review the video over and over. And, uh, try to figure out how it would be possible. Because the only way to do the whole Nekumaru getting crushed, hit by the pillar, would be him falling on it, or him jumping and crashing into it. But I can't really say, say or see him jumping and doing that. Because that would, would require that the person he was fighting to the death to be as physically athletic as him. And the only one is Akane. And she would never do that. So the only thing I can think of is this, but... Be kind of impossible to do this because you would need to be in Strawberry Hall. But wait, actually, you could just turn him off and then just go upstairs and. Yeah, I, I think I can see it. But in actuality, they are both the same building and both houses are linked to the central tower. Uh huh. It is undeniable that such a. Sweet! Building structure is a secret of the funhouse! Man, not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Suna's beautiful voice is just so sweet and... Shut the frick up. Full show! I shall leave this matter to your discretion. Hmm... I think I'm finding proof that completely contradicts that. Yeah, that's the... Uh... Not the wall clock. Uh, strange feeling in the tower. Yeah. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Right? Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. Hmm. It's here the doorknob or the strange feeling in the tower. Because it wouldn't make sense for... No, wait. There's also the wire, but I don't know how that would work. Because technically the wire on the doorknob is a thing. No way Nagato would mention it here. Nagato would mention it here. Up here. No, I don't think it would be the wire. Because technically the wire is on the floor. Ne tied around Nekumaru, so it wouldn't work, so... Uh, let's see, doorknob. Doorknob, or a strange feeling. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are actually the exact same thing. Maybe this? No, that's Okay. It honestly only makes sense. Look at those towers. Are they really the same place? What? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? D Did your home destroy Japan? Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. Shut the fuck up. Doesn't it seem strange? When we went to Great Tower from Great Hall, 
Nekomaru's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But when he went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Grave Hall. Yeah, that's just... That's it. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. Or, but the design would change, right? If it is, then see, that means it could have passed the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? If Nagato's being this violent, but I guess so. Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building. Bow down. Oh, heck no! You are challenging me? I don't care if you're a princess, I will kick your ass! Sorry, I didn't hear what you say. Uh... Then, how about this? Somebody move Nekomaru's body? How would they be able to do that? Well, we were moving from Great Tower to Strawberry Tower? That would probably would take like five minutes. Maybe even ten. We should have all been together during that time. Even if we tried to move the body inside the tower. That too. Then Monokuma did it. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. That's stupid! Even he can't do that! He can't mess with the crime scene! As okay, I actually technically did in Tinkerapa 1, because technically the mastermind there is, uh, yeah. That too? How can they move that? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. What the f- Okay, you're saying they rolled it. In the exact same position. In the exact same way. With nothing being left. Untouched. Is that what you're saying? They had the same oil spill that was cleaned up in the original spot and put into the other side? That's stupid. Let them eat cake. But what? Hey, technically, isn't cake wheat? No, wait. Eh, that doesn't really work that way, does it? No, wait. Cake isn't wheat, so no, wait. Cake does require wheat, right? Wait, why am I thinking about this? Why am I thinking about cake and bread and their similarities? Uh... Uh... I think it would be the oil spill on the floor. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Moving the body in the pillar at such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? Yes. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. Ah, fuck. That's an honest. Okay. It seems you have forgotten. I need to think this through. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. The pillar of the ball. He could have moved it all. Is he a pie? There's no. There's definitely no way. Okay. I need to show how to it contradict that. Forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. Uh huh. The pillar of the body. Everything at the crime scene. Not so fast. Cut through those words. There's the contradiction. 
Moving the body in pillar is possible, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Exactly! When the position of Necromaro's body in the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Really? Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Oh, like, okay, he's saying the oil moved into the same position, okay. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. It was only moved 180 degrees, otherwise the liquid of the oil would move. So instead, I see, it was elevated up. I, I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. Hey, it's all right. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. Shut up! So what really happened? I am really annoyed with Kazuichi this time. He's being too much of a simp. No character development for him. Seriously. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Yeah, the E handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? Hmm. Well, did you see it move? Like, did it change, like, upside down? Flip around? Turn around? Hmm. No idea, huh? The mystery ties to the secret of the funhouse. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. The only thing we can rely on the one person who has those clues. Hey, Nagito. I thought it would come to this. I knew my turn was coming up. Yeah, sadly, you can't really expect us to know everything, considering none of us cleared the final dead room! Fine. Tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. Honestly, a hint would a hint to exact answer, anything would help. But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. It's also important for me because it will help me determine something. Determine. Okay, now I'm curious. Is he talking about the traitor? So, why did Nagato sail say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? How do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. He cleared the final dead room! Heck, everyone can account for him doing it, so... I have a good reason. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. Uh, the light threatening game. I see. You're talking about the final dead room, right? You cleared the life threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, uh -huh. a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. How? At opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. You took a picture? Yep. Nakato grinned creepily as he retrieved a small digital camera from his inner pocket. This is it. And as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. What? Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House, from the secret room within the final dead room. 
There's no grape house. So, my theory was right. I don't know where to be happy or terrified at that. Because it. Because if that's true, and with all those weapons there, then. All those weapons, all those materials, all that. So, I kind of get this, but there's some stuff I don't get. Yeah. If the funhouse structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Lots of things that should make sense in this picture. Let's begin. Shall I call it thinking time? Uh, Here. Kind of obvious. If the structure of the funhouse is what we thought it was. Great House and Strawberry House should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from Strawberry House, you should see Great House behind it. Yeah. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no Great House at all. I see. And is that it? Hmm. Last things that don't make sense in a photo. Let's see. Well, from what the picture showed, there was no great house, obviously. Uh. Let's see. I guess it would be the tower itself. Yeah. It have to be wait. First. Oh that took a second. Okay. This photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room, right? If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, it should have been. Then, this is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from higher up. That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? I'm not even going to try to translate that. From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. The other clue? Is he talking about that one time? Well, hello there, Hajime. I can tell. Why are you here? Because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? Maybe I teleported. You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second 
you a great house, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already? Okay, that answers where, what's on top of what. Top floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Great House. What does it mean? That means... What's that thing just now? Another hint figuring out the mystery of the behind the funhouse structure? The reason not to appear from the third floor. Using the photo he took, I might be able to find the answer if I just think about it. Alright, let's do this! Let's think! Okay. Let's go. Oh gosh! Okay. Uh... Oh, oh gosh, this is trippy. This is trippy. Question one, uh, they exist. Duh. I have to read the questions because otherwise I get messed up. Okay, okay. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. They are the same building. Right? Yeah. They are the same building. Yeah. Because otherwise, the whole structure thing wouldn't work, right? Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! Okay. How horizontally? Uh, vertically, right? Yeah, that's up and down. Okay, there we go. They exist. They're the same building, and they and they're positioned vertically. It's all coming together. Okay. Got it. I know the secret of the funhouse. Then let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give? I wonder. In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. So where did Grape House go? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building, different floors? Then the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. They're actually one six-story building? Uh-huh. If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. The floor is above. I see. On top of Great House. That's where Strawberry House is located. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Uh-huh. Altogether. This means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap! I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically! But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes! Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. Overlaid atop each 
off each other to misdirect how we perceive them. If you put the hexagon on top of the... Yeah. And it worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower, we fully believe the two houses were two separate distinct buildings. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house... Uh-huh. Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? I hate to say it, but he's completely right. Uh, it's true? The building was really like that? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? How horrible! Actually, it's kind of impressive, too. Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Great Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Great House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Great Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Ah, your precious mammies don't know, but it's so simple. Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solved this mystery in a flash. Oh, I see. Do whatever you like. Oh, definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. Wow. He has so much character development in this fourth trial! It's so amazing! No, it's not. It's pathetic. Okay. On a Kuma file. Tipped over pillar. Not that. Broken doorknob. Probably the broken doorknob. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! Okay. Where's your answer? One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're magnificent, Gundam! No? No fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was a fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! A dummy that does not exist. Does that mean the killer prepared in advance? No! Stupid to even think that! I mean, come on, people! Um, uh, Maybe the answer is the Monokuma file. Let me read the Monokuma file. The victim is AK is Mekumaru Nekumaru Tindai, aka Mekumaru after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grave Tower, which is inside the fun house. Its head was severely damaged beyond repair. Okay. That could be the answer, cause Think about it like that. Yet the damage can't be exactly copied. So, we just use that, I guess. Or, maybe? Let me double check. Okay. Wire can't be copied. I mean, you can actually copy it, but... Can't really use it the same way. Okay, so mech the Monokuma File 4, the wire, uh, the good night button, that's a, that's a, that's an option, right? The good night button? Uh, no. Boy on the floor, 
No, that probably wouldn't be a good case. I'd probably just say, Oh, I just put this body here and go like that. Tip over pillar. Go like, No, this body, this pillar fell over here and go like, Or a chain. Could work, but I don't know. Um. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. Let's see. Hurry up, dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers. Okay. Was actually a dummy. No. You mean a fake body? Negumaru died with a mechanical body. Wait, that wouldn't work. It be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're magnificent, Gundam. No fair! You totally stole my spotlight. What is there? That wouldn't work, because technically the damage would be the same. And no one has looked at the body from... No, that actually... Ah, uh, no, that wouldn't work. Unless we have Kazuichi's account on that, I don't think so. Uh, Pillar Fragment, Fuyuhiko's account, that wouldn't work. Wall Clock, Contact Elevator, and eh, not really. Strawberry Hall, no, no. Kazuichi's account. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Alarm clock, radio, strange feeling in the... T ah! Okay, that totally works. So which one? Shut up, just pick one of them. Okay. I'm gonna solve this. Hurry up, dummy. One of the bodies in one of it was actually... No, that's wrong. Is the strange feeling going to be like the main bullet used in this trial? It would be hilarious if it was. Body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. Exactly. Because the strange feeling is Kazuichi left the body the exact same way it was in Grape Tower. Because he messed with the body to take some parts to fix Strawberry Hall's button. Bright! Oh my gosh, I almost thought it was number four. Uh, the... Remember? The... The account, four. We thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... Not just that. The parts that I carefully arranged when I dismantled the body... ...all moved, too. Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Great Tower. Yeah. Exactly. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. I mean, you're the only mechanic here. You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. Okay, yeah, that's true. Fair enough. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. You see, that is disappointing. Oh, damn! Harsh! But I can understand. He keeps simping for you, and you get annoyed by that. Even more disappointed. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. The floor could elevate. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor? You can't think of a device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same building? An elevator? A device that transports build things to different floors in the same building. I feel like I've seen that before. Oh! Oh, come on! You serious? Alright, let's do this. There's only one thing, and luckily for me, it's the simplest answer I've ever heard of. E E Uh L L L uh, L uh, 
fate. Seriously? I love... No? Oh! Right, two E's. Fa! L -V. I need a V. I need a V. L V T O R Bingo! You must be talking about an elevator. Okay, so the answer is the elevator. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where yeah. Where is this elevator anyway? It's the tower itself. Uh huh. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room, right? Yeah. So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. Yep. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? Uh... And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower. The mystery? If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? Yes. But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Uh-huh. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. That is correct. There are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? So, eh. Let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? The stuff on the floor, I guess? That includes the body, the pillar, the oil that we've been talking about. That stuff that's been for... Okay. There shouldn't be anything strange about them. Not even the fact that they all moved the elevator. Okay, so... Uh, they were all on the floor. Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? Yeah. And? And? and... Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. <laughs> the reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. Unique about the elevator? There's no ceiling. Only the floors move, I guess. I see. So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Okay. Only the floor moved? Makes sense. Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. Okay. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. We 
which means on the first floor of the Great Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a great design. Okay. Then, where did the different floors lead? Nowhere. I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. It is after a Hall of Fun house. I mean, it would lead... It would disprove our beginning assumption if we thought, hey, maybe these doors lead to the outside. Hey, now that we've picked, figured it all out, these doors must lead to the other tower. Just for show, why was something like that necessary? So we falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. That too. That is a better explanation, yes. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. That's Monokuma. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't bring this on me! Take responsibility for yourself! Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. What? <sighs> but there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. I think she's right. What does the chain on the far back door in Great Tower mean? Chain. It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on. Even if you've repaired the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the... Yeah. Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry House has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. If you fix the button to the strawberry hall, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. You don't need to worry about that. Huh? The killer destroyed the strawberry hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the funhouse. Makes sense, yeah. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. That is true. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. Makes sense. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Yeah, makes sense. Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? Yes. Yes, it would. It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. <laughs> you said earlier that Strawberry House and Great House are connected vertically, right? Yeah. If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Inside Great House, Great Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And 
inside. Okay, yeah, I see your point. The houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? What does this mean? Green, what does this mean? Well, we just used Kazuichi's account. The elevator went 180 degrees. In fact, when my back was facing the elevator in the great back house, the tower was on my right. And when my back was facing the elevator in the strawberry house, the tower was on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? I will use the only account that's left. Uh, Kazuichi's account. Let's go. The two houses are connected vertically. The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Oh. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. Get a room. This iron curtain of teamwork. Get a room, you two. Let me think. The two houses are connected vertically. Uh, who's vertically, not horizontal? No. There we go. That has to be it, right? Because Kazuichi's account makes it sound like 180 degrees. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? Yes, you! You were the one that did the elevator thing. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah, it was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. was probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? Yeah. And thanks to that, the tower was on our right side when we arrived at Great House. It appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. Yes. <laughs> An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. Well, a Duh. is an amusement park attraction, you know. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Fourth Island, yep. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. Uh. It's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the fun house, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how they combine it with a pillar? Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know. What is the Octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my. I can't believe I have to explain that now. As long as you know what an Octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. It's an eight-sided thing. I see. Yeah, it's eight sides. An octagon is a shape of eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. Fuck you! Everyone knows this common knowledge. They've been in kindergarten. Fucking prick. And you're my second favorite character? Sadly, he still is my second favorite character now. God damn it. <laughs> I guess I should continue listening. 
Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? Right here. Here. It's the only place I could think of. Talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. Yep, because that's the only place where the final dead room can be. Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? Yeah. If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's basically the gist of it. The true identity of the Octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. Uh -huh. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the Octagon. Learn? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the Fun House. Oh, because of the structure and how it misleads people and all the weapons and, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery. And then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. The fun house itself is the weapon, so they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> It truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon! Sadly, that's true. It's horrifying when you think about it. The funhouse is the, the true identity of the ultimate weapon. What does this mean? How did the killer use that to murder Nekamaru? And who is the killer who did that? That is a good question. Because as long as someone cleared the final dead room, it could be anyone. Well, we know it's not Ajime, we know it's not Chiaki, we know it's not Nagito. Can't be Kazuichi, otherwise it would ruin his plan. Akane wouldn't have the guts to kill Nekamaru. Meaning, there's only... Sonya... Uh, Fuyuhiko and Gundam. Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't do it, because, you know, the whole Nekomaru situation reminds him of Peko. So, that would be Sonya or Gundam. Then again, so Oh! Ah! That would make sense. Because the crime would have to be done in the middle of the night. I think I just learned who the killer was. <sighs> Such an interesting thing. Okay. So... With that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button to support the channel and support the content provided. Hit the notification button to be notified immediately when a, new, when a new video comes out. Um.
and tell me who you think the killer is down in the comment section below. After realizing this whole mess, I came down to two possible victims who could have done it. And with that realization, I found out who the killer could be. This is an interesting case. Very hard at first, but after you progress, it gets a little easier at time. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.